Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about a scenario, ADF scenario, data factory scenario, where we have to fail a pipeline if files which are copied from source to destination are none. So we're performing a copy operation, checking at the source level if the files are present. Okay, we have to copy it to the destination. And if there are no files, we have to fail the pipeline. So I'll tell you here in the whiteboard, how it should look like. So this is source and this is sync, sync and source. This is an ADLS Gento account and sync also ADLS Gento account. Here it has some files, let's say CSV files. File one, file two, file three. And in the ADF, we have a copy activity just going to check at this source location if there are star.csv files simply copy it to the destination or at the sink now let's say this pipeline has to execute again and the files are not present on that execution or on that day so if on that execution the files are not present at the source location then this pipeline should fail so let's go to the job portal to see the source destination and the data factory so the first is here this is the input container if we go to the home and to the storage account cloud knowledge storage into account to the storage containers we have here the input folder or the input container which has few files and folder we are not concerned about the folders here we'll only consider the files present here the dot csv files which we'll be copying in this example then we have here in the second tab output container where we don't have any files. This is the destination and we'll go now to the data factory where we'll create a new pipeline. So we are in the author section. We'll create a new pipeline. We'll name this as fail pipeline fail when no files copied. This looks fine. Now we'll take from the move and transform the copy activity in the canvas because we have to perform copy operation. In the copy data one, we'll go to the source tab. In the source tab, we have to connect to the source location, which is ADLS Gen2 and this input folder. So we'll go here, we'll select ADLS Gen2. So you can search it or you can select directly if it's visible to you. Then the files present there are CSVs. So we'll select delimited text. We'll continue. We'll name this as input files CSV. Link service we already have in place for the ADLS Gen2 account. So we'll select that, which is Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2. Now it will ask us the file path. We'll browse to the file path <coughs> that is inside the input folder these CSVs. So we'll select up to this level and click OK. Click OK. This looks fine. Now we have to copy all the .csvs. So for that case, we'll select the file path type as wildcard file path. So that here in the wildcard file path, we can give the .csvs with the help of this wildcard character asterisk. So asterisk dot C so it will be asterisk.csv. So it will copy all files which are ending with .csv. Cool. We'll go to the third tab, which is sync. Click on plus new. Select data lake storage and two. CSV again. We'll name it as output file CSV link service. So same link service we have to select and browse to the file path output folder we want where the file should land if present at the source and we'll click OK. Cool. So the source data set selected and sync as well. Now we'll try to validate our mapping up to this level and perform a debug run as well to see if this is working fine. It succeeded and we could see in the output if we maximize it. So here we have to 
consider files written the number of files written are shown as 3 at the input location we have seen that there are 3 CSVs that's why it has written those CSVs to output location if we click on refresh those 3 CSVs okay so this looks fine now we have to fill this pipeline if it is not finding the CSVs at the source location to copy how we'll implement it we'll see next so in order to fail it we have to make use of the fail activity okay as well as write the condition one is fail activity the next one is the condition we have to check if the files written are zero if that equals to zero then you need to fail that pipeline so we'll make use of the condition first we'll take from the iteration and conditional section if condition in the canvas right after the copy activity will connect the output of the copy activity to if condition will go to the if condition activity and to the activity section here we have to write the if condition the evaluation which should either go to true or false now here we have to add the expression in the expression builder in the activity output we could see the output coming from the previous activity which is copy data activity we'll select that from that output we have to consider files written. Let me go back, click OK. Let's go back to the output, open and maximize. So here from the output, we have to consider files written. Just copy this field. And in the if condition, we'll go again to the expression. And from the output, we have to consider files written. If this files written equals zero. So in order to check that equality, we have function called as equals. So let's go to the function section and search for equals. It returns true if two values are equal. So we'll make use of this right before this activity. We'll select equals and within this braces, we'll give a files written equals to zero, then fail this pipeline. If the files written are zero, then fail this activity. So in order to fail it, we'll take the fail activity in the true case of the if condition so we'll select the true case here just select it now we are inside the pipelines if condition true activities we'll take the fail activity which is present in the general section with the name as fail so take that in the canvas in the fail activity the name and all looks fine in the general tab we'll go to the settings tab the failure message we can give any custom message copied files or none error code file not found okay anything of your choice this looks fine what we did is we first tried to perform the copy operation by giving the wildcard part here all the dot csvs if the dot csvs are present at the source location just copy it to the sink if not then we have taken a if condition and we are looking that if the files written are zero means at the source level it has not found the file Okay, not a single CSV is present at the source location. Then what you do is you perform this fail operation using the fail activity. Fail activity will fail the entire pipeline. So we'll validate the pipeline. We'll publish the changes to the data factory. And we'll perform a debug run. So first what we'll do is we'll delete the files which are present from the previous execution at the target level. And from here as well, we'll delete one of the files at the source. So now ideally, only two CSVs should be copied to the destination, that is the output folder. We are seeing the false scenario in this pipeline. Means the CSVs are present, so it should copy those CSVs. Let's click on debug. both succeeded files have been copied so if we go to the output folder click on refresh we could see the two csvs have been copied now again we'll delete these two csvs and this time at the source level also we'll delete the csvs means the files are not present we'll go back here and this time it should go into the true case of the if condition because the files written will be zero Copy data is in progress. Click on refresh. And we could see here that both the activities if and fail 
activity has failed and in the message you can see the message and the error code which we have given are displayed looks good pipeline status is failed so we have attained what we wanted to attain we can also demonstrate it by using a trigger run so that we are sure that the pipeline would fail okay. for that demonstration we have to trigger this pipeline now so that it will go into that trigger run and we could see the overall pipeline failure status so just click on trigger now click ok and to see the trigger run status we'll open another tab we'll go to the monitor section here here in the pipeline runs under the triggered section we can see here the execution details so we'll click on refresh and here we could see our pipeline has failed the overall status is failed it says the messages copied files are none they are not present so this is how we can fail the pipeline if files are not present at the source location and if they are present it will be simply copied to the target hope you have understood this video and the scenario covered do let me know in comments if you have any queries thank you for watching the video happy learning